Now, everybody's heard, or if you paid any attention to history and mythology, you heard about the face that launched a thousand ships. Well, let me introduce you to the knife that launched 25-year friendship. Now, this thing here, it, it's, it's your standard flea market knife, but it belonged to a very dear friend of mine that I met in Georgia when we were both stationed there. Later, we both ran into each other in Germany, and uh, we've been friends ever since. So, it's very special and meaningful to us because this is kind of how we met. Uh, it, there was a, a trade of a cowboy hat for a knife. As far as the knife itself, it's it's a flea market. Uh, you, you've got uh, well, it's it's uh, the handle's taped up because uh, it don't stay on real good. The steel itself is uh, just about the crappiest you could imagine. This thing couldn't hold an edge if you run it through butter. I mean, I clearly would not be doing this to my, to my hand if it was in any way dangerous. So what we're going to do is something really special because my brother is here with me. All right, after 25 years, we're back together and having a good time. But he's brought some stuff along that's going to make this build extra special. He's got a leaf spring from his father's truck. Now, his father passed away a few years ago. So, we're going to take a piece of that leaf spring to make the new blade for this new Arkansas toothpick. And we're going to use a little bit of the purple heartwood as a symbolism for our time together in the service. All right. So, still going to be a great build. It's going to be a great knife. We're going to have a lot of fun. But what makes it even more special is while he is helping me work on it, he has no idea what he's working on. And at the end, I'm going to surprise him with this new knife. Alright, so uh, let me just stop and explain a lot of stuff because wow, things have changed since this project started. Uh, I know the, the intro really doesn't match the channel anymore. But uh, I'm still doing what, what it was I was doing. It's just we've added so much since then. And, and uh, as you watch with the video, uh, this, this, this project just kept getting back burnered. And so, uh, yeah, I, you can see where we sw switched up shops. We, you know, the shop moved. I'm in the new shop now. When this project started, we were in the old shop. And, uh, yeah, so... A little bit crazy going into this this project. It just keeps getting back burnered for other things. You know, stuff for, for clients is always more important. But uh, I really I wanted to get back to this one. do so far is I've ground down the tang, made that nice and got the shoulders kind of even. Obviously there's a lot of grinding still to do. This is a big hefty piece of this steel. So uh, what I've done is round off the end a little bit there, you can see, and uh, that'll get threaded. Uh, I used to tap it in and uh, we'll, we'll thread that 
for a uh, but uh, I, I got a couple different ideas. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Excuse me. So uh, right now, what I've done is uh, I've ground fuller in, and and what that is about is just removing a lot of that weight. It, it's going to get the weight down. This thing's still pretty beefy. Now, yeah, granted, there's a lot of a lot of steel to come off this still. It, it doesn't even have a point yet. Uh, obviously, the bevels aren't in. The shoulders are, are kind of crudely done right now. So it's just a long process, and I, like I said, I've got other stuff going on, but I, I still really want to get this one done and really want to surprise John with it. So you know, stick around. We're going to get this thing accomplished. Seventeen forevers, three eternities, and a month of Sundays. We finally got it ground down to something that looks a lot more right. Now I know y'all looking at that that rust in there. When the metal gets hot from the grinding and it gets dunked in the water, it oxidizes quick. That's not going to stay. That's not going to be a problem. We got the stick tang done. You can see, I got it mostly the same size. I like the stick to be nice and thick. You don't want it to break it, but you also want it to be roughly the same size all the way up, and that just makes life easier when you're trying to fit all the pieces together later. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to start working on the handguard and uh, the pommel. You see, I've already rounded it down, so what I'm going to do from there is we will thread that and then uh, make a pommel guard for it. Not sure exactly how, what I'm going to do for the handguard. I'm thinking of a few things, so we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, th this project's finally coming along, you know.
Hey guys, uh, all right, so quick update. We, if you've seen, we, we got it quenched. Looks a lot better now. Nice clean lines, a lot of that weight gone. Got us a hand guard. Uh, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. Well, it looks like it's showing up pretty well. Did some hammer dimpling. It's got dirty from my hands, but that gives it a nice cruise form guard shape. So now what we're gonna do is start drilling the, uh, the handle material. And uh, what I've decided on is I've got some crepe myrtle, some of the purple resin, green resin, purple heart. Then it'll go green, purple, and crepe myrtle again. So. Hey guys, <clears throat> all right, so it's two days later since we did the uh, the grinding on this thing and we've got the handle glued up, as you can see. The wind got cold again. It's a uh, you know, North Carolina winter slash spring thing. It was 70 yesterday. I think it's supposed to get up to 60 today, but it ain't there now. <clears throat> Either way, we're going to continue working, so what we're going to do is just take and grind this down to its final shape, polish it up, and, and then we're going to sharpen it, and that's going to be pretty much the size of it. We're going to give this thing a little test. Uh, i tell you right now, the weight's really nice. It, it's got a little pommel on there, and so, uh, yeah, that, that kind of feels good in the hand. Obviously, the, the handle don't yet, but the rest of it's got a good weight, so I think that's going to be a real nice one. Let's get it going. Putting the wax on there really, really makes that thing pop. Yeah, let's sharpen this thing up and uh, we'll probably uh, wax it one more time just to make sure it gets down into the, the wood and really seals it up. And that resin really, really come out nice with it. 
And remember, while he has been wandered in and out of frame while I was making it, he actually cut the metal. If you won't recall, well, y'all will recall better than I would. It's been a long time for me, a couple minutes for y'all. Uh, he knows nothing about this. He, he doesn't know that uh, that I've started this project. He, he was uh, with me on the planning and, and knows that we were going to do this, but he thought he was going to be involved. And while I, uh, I did involve him, I really wanted it to be a surprise for him. guys so that's her all finished up uh, put the second coat of wax on that handle tell it, it really makes that resin pop you know I, like I said in the beginning it uh, how, you know brotherhood's important and uh, even though we disagree at times we, we've been brothers for over 20 years and I really wanted to be able to do something really special for so tonight after he's done with work we're going to surprise him with it, and that'll be part of the video. Um, it's going to be awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and, uh, you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to toss in a little wacky, wacky test, because I'm going to have some fun with this thing real quick. But, uh, yeah, appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. Be a part of something real quick. Super fat. You need to look over something. Okay. Okay. You need to look over. I like how they do it. It chops well, it shaves. It's made from a leaf spring. Right. From your dad's leaf spring. Really? I love it. That's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. It did the whole thing as a surprise for you. Yeah. Did the fun part? I he probably watched him do it. You, not only, <laughs> you cut the metal and I got footage of really? it. Really? 
All right. Remember when you cut yeah. the leaf over there? Yeah. And I took video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. You you cut it, although we I had to cut it down for that. Sure. Because that's still. Uh, it turns out that amount of metal would have. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's okay. I love it. This is perfect. But, uh, yeah, be careful. It's insanely sharp. It already okay. cut me. All right. Well, I'll <laughs> go in and probably make a sheet for it now. All righty. So, guys, he liked it. Rock and roll. Thank you.